say we gotta move on to the second. Yeah, I ain't accepting that. You know, and you don't have to. It's your life. All right, so <laughs> no, no, for real, it's his life. Like, right? cause it's certain shit that I ain't gonna know either. But um, okay. So the second question uh is the lock and key analogy. We're gonna let Whitney um take that off. Go ahead with that, cause I, I don't know nothing. About okay, so I I put this question out there because. Again, I was watching Swamp Live one time. This was like recently. I think the live was about something else that was going on, but inside the live, he had mentioned something, and this is not the first time he mentioned it. He, in the live, this is what caught my attention because he was saying something. This is not like his exact words, but it was something along the lines. He was like, he was like, you see, men, we got this. We can just wipe it off. We can just wipe it down, and we'll be good. And women, y'all got this thing. You know, it's, it's, it, it, you know, things can go in here, get sweaty, get this, this, and that. Everything can be, it can get infected. Y'all got blood, they bleeding, and all this other stuff. Like, all these other things that happen with women and their lady parts. And men, he's just like, just wipe it down. And that kind of brought me back to the whole lock and key analogy that people use a lot. I, not even people, I feel that men use a lot. And it's basically an analogy that's pretty much saying that, you know, women are like the locks, and we should only let certain keys get in there to master key. I was meaning, one, meaning one person, but guys, you know, they, 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 the key, they can turn, they can turn different locks, but it's only one lock that is going to work for. That's that one good woman that is going to work for. But you know, they can try and stick it in every other lock. So my thing is, I just wanted to know, like, do people like still think this way or like, what's going on? The and where that analogy came from? The lock and key analogy is something similar that I thought of, but I thought you meant something different. Wait, what did you think? So like it's 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 very similar, but I thought like this was like because you know how I'm kind of on you know guys ain't shit. So I thought this is like what most guys think. So you know how you have a lock and a key. If a key opens many locks, it's a master key, right? That's it. And then if you know a lock opens to different keys, it's a shitty lock. <laughs> so I thought like it was like you know guys can be um, having sex all the time. They can they can they yeah uh, they can sleep with multiple women, but that's women. How I yeah. Like that's that's what it is. That's what it is. And I think that's what he was saying in there, but I just wanted him to like clarify and just like what what does that mean to you? Oh, not what I mean. Yeah, that's that. Tell me what you mean. When I was talking about that, I was talking about like uh how we look at the joint because like there is a difference on how we look at it, whether it's right or wrong. It's not right for us to do. It's the mutual phone. It's never like it's never right for us to cheat or anything like that. But mm -hmm. what I'm what I am gonna say is there is a difference. Um and when a woman cheat and when a man cheat. Like the difference is like dude can really like you got savage women out here, but I don't want to put that mindset on a lot of women. You got dudes that are that are hit something and walk right past it the next day. Man. And I care about it. You're not going to do that with my girl or my old lady. That's not going to be something you just tag overnight or just off the strength of being in the same place. Like, it's no, you put up a foundation or something. And there is a difference because, like, a dude looks at his kunt nunt. That's his kunt You know what I'm saying? <laughs> That's his special box. Women, like, it's different strokes for different folks. Different women take different things to please them and get off or whatever. whatever. You really got to learn a woman's body these days if you really want to get the best of your woman in a sense, dog, when it comes to sex. You got to learn a woman's body. So, like, when somebody else been in my box, man, <laughs> this is different. Like, <laughs> it, it is. Whether it's right or wrong, it's not right for a dude to cheat, but there is a difference. When somebody been in my box that, like I said, bleed, squirt, pee, cream, whatever it do. All that, like, it's a lot going with them. Uh, when something melts is up and they tampering in they man, it's different. It's, there's a big difference. Yes, you have a peaty bird that is a pole or whatever. You wipe it down or whatever, and that's just what it is. It's, you know what I'm saying? But, like, that coon is different. That's a box. That's a treasure box. Like, when somebody else is in that treasure box, that's a difference. And I'm not going to cuff something that don't, you know, treasure that treasure box. So if you got anywhere near that treasure box, that is a breach of security. My damn position yeah, secret is that it's that secret service coop. Like, <laughs> like, my secret, secret service. 
yeah, my spot ain't secure no more. No, 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 no. Hell no. It's a difference. But you won't somebody who, who doesn't treasure their treasure box or whatever, but would you stick your key in that treasure box though? What treasure box? Like, okay, so you said that you wouldn't cuss someone who doesn't, you know, treasure their treasure box or whatever. Like, they're, they're just, you know, letting everyone in the treasure box. Yeah. But would you put your key in that same treasure box, even though you won't cuss it? I ain't put, I'm not about to, yeah, like, niggas hit stuff out here that they ain't about to cuss. They do that. Just hope you, like, ain't doing, like, this flat-out raw dog everywhere. Where they got stuff called condoms these days. So, like, um, when you, uh, there's, you, you hit stuff that you ain't cuffing. So basically, he's saying yeah, but he just gonna, you know, wrap it up. Um, like I'm just saying, that's it, it's exclusive protection. Yeah. Where his girl, he's not. She should not be so easily influenced by another pole. It's no, only his pole. No, you got it. You done built up something. Just popped up out the blue and and got lucky. So basically, so basically, uh, if your girl cheat, the one that you put a title on, like she know what it is, ain't no extra shit, you one and done if you find out she cheated. I ain't no think. talking about it, ain't no. Uh, I would at, this, so. at this phase in your life, you one and done, like that's it. Ain't no, we can't. You don't feel like y'all can talk about it and be like, well, maybe, maybe I have been gone too much. Maybe I did shut down. Maybe. What is it? You want it done, or are you gonna try to work it out? I don't know. I can't even answer. That. Cause like I, I want to be logical and look at the things I've done okay. in certain situations, stuff like that. But I'm gonna be realistic and know like, oh, no, there's been a security and it was actually an inside job. Hell no, it's time to evacuate the premises. But I can't say that. You know what I'm saying? Like I, I don't know. Right, 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 right. All right. Any more questions on that lock and key analogy? Do y'all have any questions for him? Um, any more explanation? Or we can move on to the third. That was good clarification. I, I need do you lock. have anything that you would like to add to the lock and key analogy? Uh, No, I don't. I didn't get to hear it all because my phone went out, but no, I still don't have nothing for it, though. All right. Thank you. Um, Moving on to the third. <laughs> 